Hello guys, how are you doing today? Hello, hello. Hello, good night. Hello, good evening. Can can you listen to me? Is the audio clear? It's clear. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So uh, as usual, guys, we are going to have questions regarding to the last topic that we saw. And yesterday, what was the topic about? What do you remember about yesterday's class? What was that about? Who can tell me? Okay, that's perfect. It's fine. It's fine, Jocelyn, we understand. So now, uh, as usual, guys, I'm going to ask you some questions regarding to the last class. Yesterday, our class was about uh, adverbs of frequency, right? So we saw those adverbs of frequency and we try to understand how to use them. So let me see. If I ask you the question, um, ask you this question. I'm going to write that on the chat. If I ask you that question, can you please give me one answer to that question? Of course, you can use adverbs of frequency or expressions of frequency. Some examples of the ones that we saw yesterday. You please, guy, give uh, give me like some examples or how would you answer to that question? Okay, thank you so much, Jocelyn. <clears throat> What about short. other ones? Sh short or sh que, que es? Church. Church is the place when people sing, when people see the pastor, where they, where they sing, donde cantan, where there's, donde hay un pastor. Does it give you an idea? Iglesia, that's church. Thank you, Griselda. Yes, that's church. So how or what would you answer be? ¿Cuál sería su respuesta a esa pregunta? How would you give me an answer to that question? You don't go to church. Okay, that's fine. If you don't go to church, you can also use one adverb of frequency saying, I rara vez voy, nunca voy. So we have an adverb. Si tenemos un adverbio de frecuencia para eso. So how would you say it, Grisela? O como diría, no voy, o frecuentemente, rara vez. You don't go to church. So nobody, nadie tiene una idea de cómo responder. Okay, Vanessa. Okay, Vanessa, that's fine. That's that's perfect. I uh, usually go to the church. Okay, that's a good answer. Thank you very much. Rina Margarita, I rarely attend. Attend where? Ahí nos faltó algo. ¿Qué nos hace falta? ¿A dónde? Porque rara vez vas, pero ¿a dónde? So what about the other ones? I just see Jocelyn, I just see Griselda, who is who was saying that she doesn't go to the church. Then we have Vanessa and then we have Rina. Did you guys already forget the class? Ya se nos olvidó lo que vimos ayer. 
como que andamos agarrando señal todos este día, ¿verdad? José Alberto, one day of week. What, what, what are you trying to say? ¿Qué es lo que estás tratando de decir con one day of week? Un día de la semana. De la semana. So then we have to say one day of weeks. week. Weeks. Da, no, no, no. We say da week. Like that. Da week. Da week, okay. Okay, so let me see. How do we say, guys, una vez? How do we say that? What is the right or how do you have to say if you want to sound more native? How do you have to say una vez? Okay, once. Jocelyn, thank you. Vanessa, thank you. Once a time. Once a time, not really, Carla. Because if you if we say one time, okay, that's fine. But if you say once a time, eh, eso es como decir había una vez. Once upon a time, es no es como decir una vez. Once upon es lo mismo, Griselda. Si decimos once upon, es como decir como iniciar un cuento. Había una vez, but no significa una vez. So if I want to say una vez, we only have to say, solo tenemos que decir once. So how do we say dos veces? Twice. Twice. We say it twice. 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 Okay. Now, let me ask you, pregunta, ¿puedo decir two times? Yes. Yes, can I say that, Sofia? Because you said, say, say it. Mm -hmm. Ay, no me acuerdo cómo han pasado. Que usted dijo ayer que si era válido decir eh, eh, two times. Times. Or twice. Twice. I mean, it's valid. Both of them are correct, but. As I said yesterday, if you said two times, that will make you sound that you are learning English. But if you say twice, that will be like, oh, he's he's speaking, he speaks a little bit better. Okay, so that's your face was really funny, Monica. <laughs> your face was really funny. Someone turned the lights off, and you were like, what? Hiciste un rostro muy, muy divertido cuando te apagaron la luz. So that's what I was saying. <laughs> okay. So um, now, let me see. Uh, Jose Alberto, how do we say siempre? Always. Carla, how do we say frecuentemente? Frequently. Uh, Sofía, how do we say ocasionalmente? I'm sorry, say that again. Sell. Are you sure? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. So, Vanessa, how do we say occasionalmente? Occasionally. Occasionally. So, Rina Margarita, how do we say, eh, let me see, usualmente? Usuality. Say that again. Say it again. Can you repeat it again, Rina? Usuality. Usually. We say usually. So how usually. do we say, let me see. Uh, how do we say Monica Lue? How do we say uh, rara vez? Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes is algunas veces. So, uh, rara vez. 
Does anyone else, alguien más tiene una idea? Does anyone else have any idea? Rarely. We say rarely. rarely. We can say either rarely or hardly ever. Any one of those, okay? So now um, we're going to go to today's topic because I consider that, that probably you understood how to use adverbs of frequency. Now, uh, I just want you to, the last thing that we're going to do right now is I need you to create one sentence using the verb be and using adverbs of frequency. Think about it and then write it on the chat, please. You have one minute. Si entendimos? No. You, you didn't understand. So what I was saying is that you have to create one sentence using the verb be and using adverbs of frequency. Think about it and then write it on the chat. You have one minute to do so. Just have one minute, keep that in mind. I can see right now, Sophia Stephanie. Okay, that's a good example. We are 13 with me. So I suppose that we are going to have 12 answers on the chat. And I just have Sophia Stephanie. She's the only one. Well, se nos fue uno, verdad? So we are 12 right now. So now we are 13 once again. So Jocelyn, my sister is always bored. Okay, that's a good example too, Jocelyn. Thank you very much. What about the other ones? Be honest, please, guys. Honesty, see? No hay que ir al Google. No hay que ir a buscar las respuestas en, en Google. Try to create one of your own. Traten de crear una que ustedes la hayan creado. Sin ir a buscarla, ¿verdad? Griselda, I can see yours too. Um, I mean, it's correct, Griselda, it's correct, but I said using the verb be. Also, Jose Alberto, that's for you. You didn't use the verb be. Rina, you didn't use the verb be. I said sentence, les dije, oración utilizando el verbo to be. Solo tenemos Sofía y Jocelyn que han utilizado el verbo to be. Y ahí los demás me están usando otros verbos. I mean, sus ejemplos están bien. Vanessa, your example, it's perfect. Okay? You are using the verb be. Mm. That, Vanessa, no, I mean, it's not, it's not good, Vanessa. Because you're using, estás utilizando los dos al mismo tiempo el verbo to be y otro verbo. So that's not correct, Vanessa. Carla. Okay, Carla, it's fine. Just for the fact that you're still missing there the letter A. A good girl, okay? What about the other ones? I cannot see my tab. 
my table is a piece of black. No, Sulma, you are not, you are not using, no estás utilizando ahí ningún adverbio de frecuencia. Si sí estás utilizando el verb be, but I cannot see another verb of frequency. Okay, Carla, that's better. That's perfect, actually. What about Saul? I cannot see Saul. I cannot see jostling with the Y. I'm always listening. Hmm. Not really. Mm -hmm. Veo que estamos teniendo problems there with the verb B. So remember, Jocelyn, I'm always fine. Hmm. Not really. Jocelyn, Roberto is normally, Roberto is normally happy. Okay, that's good. Rina Margarita. I'm sorry, Rina, but that's not okay. Why? Porque me están utilizando dos verbos al mismo tiempo. What's going on, guys? Jose, you're also using, Jose Alberto, you're also using two verbs. Mm -hmm. So what's going on? Saul, are you there? Because I cannot see your example here. Well, so it looks like we are not understanding. My mother is always work here. Um, I mean, that's fine. But instead of saying worker, Monica, you can say working. Okay, working, it's better. Mi mamá siempre está trabajando, no worker. Because if you say worker, it's like mi mamá es siempre trabajadora, something like that. So it makes sense to us in Spanish, but not in English. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Pregunta para todos. ¿Por qué me están utilizando dos verbos ahí? ¿Por qué el verbo to be y otro verbo? ¿Por qué? ¿Qué nos confunde? ¿Por qué nos estamos confundiendo ahí? Pre esta pregunta va para... Esa sería en el, en el complemento, ¿verdad? Eh, sí. Porque la, recuerdo que en lo que es la, la gramática o, o la estructura, perdón, eh, utilizamos el, el sujeto, luego Ajá. sería el, el verbo eh, to be, ¿verdad? Ajá. Luego iría después el, el adverbio. ¿verdad? Excellent, yes, that's, that's the formula, actually. Y en el complemento quizás ahí estamos. Ya, ¿eh? yeah, because, I mean, in yours, in your case, or in your sentence, en tu respuesta tú tienes, I am always listen. Uh, there in the complement, in el complemento, quizás como tú dices, está fallando porque listen es otro verbo, that's another verb. Sí, sí. So, cuando utilizamos el verbo to be, como dice ahí nuestra compañerita Sofía Stephanie, thank you very much, it says that significa ser o estar. So, si yo digo algo como lo que tú dices, José Alberto, I am always listening, yo estoy siempre a escuchar. So doesn't make sense. So lo único, lo único que tenemos que tener presente es que cuando decimos verb be, verbo to be, significa ser o estar. Por eso es que no puedo usar otro verbo, porque si yo pongo otro verbo, no tiene sentido. What about, ¿qué hay de ti, Rina Margarita? Eh, Griselda, Zulma, Vanessa, eh, ¿quién más? Sí, solo ustedes. ¿Qué hay de ustedes? ¿La misma situación? ¿O why are you getting confused? ¿Por qué nos estamos confundiendo? En el in the complement. Ok, I understand that. En el complement. In the complement too, okay. So we have to be careful. Tenemos que tener cuidado ahí recordar que el verbo to be siempre significa ser o estar. Así que cuando yo pongo ser o estar, el complemento tiene que ser de acuerdo a ser o estar. That's the only thing that we have to remember. 
So we are going to go, guys, to today's topic. And today's topic is about vocabulary about sports. Can you all see the slide? Si todos pueden ver la presentación. Can yes. Can you yes. see it? Perfect. Thank yes. you so much. Now, we're going to have vocabulary about that, but also we are going to understand how to use some verbs that are going to help us to, um, to use sports, okay? Let me see. First of all, we are going to have uh, the house always alone. The house, mi muchachito, el verbo to be le falta ahí. The house, okay. The house is always alone. That's perfect. Okay. <clears throat> now let's move on to, uh, to the brief definition of what a sport is. Volunteer. No volunteers today? Jose Alberto, thank you very much. What is a sport? A sport or, or a sport? It's a form of usually competitive. It's I, uh, I competitive. competitive physical activity with throw. Which? Which, which throw? Casual true. or true, mm -hmm. casual, casual, or organi casual or organized mm -hmm. participation and aim to use, maintain or improve physical um, ability and skill mm -hmm. will probably in entertain to participate. And in some case, a spectre. Okay, so the yes. definition of sports, thank you very much, Jose Alberto. Uh, it says that sport or sports is all forms of usually competitive physical activity, which through casual or organized participation aim to use, maintain, or improve physical ability or end skills while providing entertainment to participants and in some cases, at spectators. So we have some examples of sports there. In the images here, these type of sports are not common in El Salvador. In El Salvador, we don't have synchronized swimming, Nado sincronizado no tenemos. Synchronized swimming, we don't have. Or probably, but I don't know. Sledding, we don't have. Why? Because it doesn't snow in El Salvador. Nunca hemos visto la nieve en El Salvador. So that's the reason why those type of sports, we don't have them in El Salvador. So today we are going to learn vocabulary about some sports that you probably have never never played or that you don't know them. So first of all, cuando hablamos de deportes, utilizamos tres verbos que nos van a ayudar a utilizar los deportes. El verbo play, what's the meaning of play? ¿Qué significa play? Jugar. 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 Ok. Si yo quiero decir jugar algo como jugar basketball, yo voy a utilizar el verbo play. But, pero, este verbo, como dice ahí, play, is generally used with team sports and those sports that need a ball or similar object. Yo voy a utilizar el verbo play con aquellos deportes que se juegan en equipo y que necesitan una bola o un objeto para jugarse, ¿sí? Como un disco, como una paleta, como una pelotita chiquitita y que los jugamos en equipo. Entonces, yo voy a decir play basketball, play baseball, 
play golf, play tennis, play soccer, play football, play chess, play hockey, and play volleyball. ¿Por qué? Estos deportes yo los juego con una, con una bola o con algo similar, un objeto similar a una bola. So remember, hay que recordar, cuando un deporte se juegue en equipos o con una bola o con algo similar a una bola, vamos a utilizar el verbo play. ¿Ok? Saúl, question, Saúl. Ajá, Saúl. Do you have any question? Uh, hello? Well, okay. So I think that he just raised the hand. Okay, let me see what he says. Un juego de mesa. We have chess here. ¿Qué, qué es chess? Es ajedrez. So, porque yo estoy utilizando, eh, estoy utilizando las cositas para mover. Ajedrez o, oh, when you say ajedrez o cartas. Um, in that case, eh, because we're, we're using, estamos utilizando, eh, no, si bien no es un objeto, pero es algo que estamos jugando en equipo. Si lo estoy jugando en equipo, yo puedo utilizar the verb play. Caso contrario, si solo estoy jugando yo y otra persona, entonces no. Ya vamos a ver cuáles otros verbos me ayudan. Pero si no es en equipo, that's not possible, Saúl. Ok. So let's move on then. There we have el verbo go. This verb go, let me see, Sofía, help me reading this part, please. Okay. Go. Go is used with activities in sports that in ING. In ING, the verb go her implies. Implies? That implies that we go somewhere to practice this sport. Okay, perfect. So, in this case, estamos diciendo que el verbo go lo vamos a utilizar para actividades y deportes que terminan en ING. O con el verbo go implica que vamos a jugar o a practicar este deporte a otro lugar. ¿Sí? For example, uh, tenemos que decir go swimming, ir a nadar, no ser que usted lo tenga en su casa, ¿verdad? Pero siempre va a tener que salir afuera de su casa para poder ir a nadar porque no va a estar nadando en su cama o en su cuarto. Doesn't make sense. A no ser que la piscina sí la tenga en su cuarto. That's different. So, but every single time, cada vez que hablemos de un deporte que implique movernos de un lugar a otro, aunque sea en nuestra propia casa, vamos a utilizar el verbo go. So we are going to say go swimming, go hiking, go bowling, go fishing, go skiing, go jogging, go running, and go cycling. Okay? Are we understanding? Si estamos entendiendo. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Is there any yes. question? ¿Hay alguna pregunta con esto hasta el momento? Um, thinking. I'm sorry, what? Uh, the second. Second, hiking. Hiking. Hiking es, es, es que escalar, hiking. Mm -hmm. All right, so if there's no any other question, we're going to move on. Con el verbo do. ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar do? Eh, Carla, you there? Eh, do I use with recreational activities and with individual 
noun theme a sport or sport in which a word is not used like ma martial mm -hmm. art for example do a crossword puzzle puzzle okay thank you Carla. so here it says aquí en este caso vamos a utilizar do we are going to use the verb do con actividades recreacionales that's why it says recreational activities or uh, or with individual o individuales con esto es sin equipos sin equipos o Deportes donde una bola o algo más no es utilizado, ¿sí? Solo son actividades recreacionales o cosas que no implican algo más. And for example, it says martial arts, artes marciales. Or it says here, for example, do a crossword puzzle. Hacer un, eh, como un rompecabezas o un eh, armar palabras. So do a crossword puzzle, porque es algo que yo hago para recreacional o individualmente yo lo puedo hacer en casa. So if I have, si yo tengo un tipo de este deporte, if I have sports like that. Otra cosa, do you guys remember, si recordamos que cuando una palabra empieza con letra S, cuando pronunciamos en inglés nunca decimos sports. Tendemos nosotros a mencionar una letra E al inicio, cuando en realidad lo único que decimos o pronunciamos es el sonidito de la letra S. ¿Cómo decimos entonces? Sports. Sports. ¿Ok? Solo el sonido de la letra S. ¿Sí? En Carla, we pronounce puzzle. Puzzle. Rompecabeza. Puzzle. So... When we have those type of sports, cuando tenemos... Entonces ahí la, la Z no suena como vibración. Puzzle. It's like zzz, like zzz, like that. Puzzle. Like vibrating, sí, vibrando, like um, puzzle. When, cuando tú esa, haces ese sonido, tu garganta, your throat, makes a, a little vibration. So you can listen when you pronounce it, puzzle. So you can listen to the vibration of your throat. So if you can feel the vibration of your throat, it's because you are pronouncing it correctly. So we say puzzle. That's what we say. So um, in that case, when we have something like those sports, we have to say do kar uh, karate, do judo, do Kung Fu, do aerobics, do ballet, do yoga, or do gymnastics, okay? Because those type of sports are sports that you use them or that you, uh, or that you participate there because it's like recreational. It's not that you do it because you have a passion. Some of them, they have like competitive things or that you go to compete to other countries. But most of the times they are just recreational activities that help you to, uh, to avoid stress most of the time. So with the information that we have right now, are you guys understanding or do you guys have any question? Do you have any questions so far? So far, so good. Preguntas? No? Al decir, uh, do you do? Entonces, su traducción en español sería? I'm sorry, what? Al decir, do you do? Do you do is like uh, hacer o practico. Hago, practico, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like practico, that. Okay. Yeah, that, that will be. In that case, cuando significa hacer ejercicio o ir al gimnasio, ¿qué es lo que acabamos de decir, Saúl? ¿Qué verbo utilizaríamos si yo tengo que moverme de un punto A a un punto B? No es do, 
porque si aún yo lo utilizo como algo recreacional, go, there you go. Why? Because you go to the gym. Because you tienes que moverte e irlo a hacer a otro lugar, a no ser que tú tengas las pesas en tu casa. That's different. Ahí es diferente. So, es de encontrarle lógica al contexto. But good questions. Buenas preguntas, ok? So, con eso tratamos de uh, to answer or to not to have doubts para no tener dudas. So, is there any question? Alguna otra pregunta? Or, or are we clear with this? Bueno, claros como el agua, I guess. So, here we have, tenemos excepciones. Exceptions. So, we have some exceptions to the rules. Let me see. Zulma. Can you help me, Zulma, reading this part? Zulma, can you help me? A ver si me entiende que estoy un poquito mal. Oh, it's fine. No, it, it, no I, I mean, it's fine. If you are sick, if you are sick, it's fine. So let me see. Saul. Thank you, Saul. I know that you want to participate. So go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. You use the with to activities that N E N G I N G I N G mm -hmm. boxing and do bodybuilding building because they don't improve moving along as the other activities N E N G. Okay. There. <laughs> Thank you very much. ¿Cuáles son las excepciones? A ver si se recuerdan. ¿Qué verbo utilizábamos cuando el deporte terminaba en ING? Go. Go. Ok, utilizábamos go. Con estos dos deportes que tenemos acá, boxing, boxear, y do bodybuilding, que es aquellos que hacen muchas pesas y que van a competencias. Bodybuilding. Oh. What, what, do, what do you say? Physical culturismo. Yeah, that's the translation. Esa es la traducción. Thank you very much. So, when we say cuando tenemos esos dos deportes, even though, aunque terminan con ING, la excepción es que con esos dos yo voy a utilizar do. Aunque anteriormente ya habíamos dicho que si terminaba en ING, se utilizaba qué verbo? Go. Pero como es una excepción, con estos dos voy a utilizar do. ¿Por qué? Y aquí dice, because they don't imply. Ellos no implican moverse dentro de otras actividades. ¿Qué significa eso? Si yo digo do boxing... Aunque yo sé que, que me tengo que mover de un lado para otro, en este caso eh, son cosas foneticales y ya propias del idioma. So yo nunca las puedo cambiar. What I have to do is just memorize them. You just have to memorize them so you know the exceptions. Okay? So that's, those are the first two exceptions. Let's see, Carla. Help me with number two. Uh, the golf. Mm -hmm. Is there is an idea of competition you use the verb play? However, you can say go golfing if you do it for pleasure. Tiger, Tiger Woods plays golf will go golfing at the weekend. Ok, thank you very much. ¿Qué significa esto? Con este deporte yo tengo dos excepciones. ¿Cuál? Si yo hago el deporte o yo juego fútbol porque yo estoy compitiendo contra otros, yo voy a utilizar... Golf. Golf. 
Yes. Eh, yo voy a utilizar el verbo play. ¿Sí? Pero si yo lo hago por placer y solo porque yo quiero ir a jugar un día X, yo voy a utilizar el verbo go. ¿Sí? Go golfing. Are we understanding? Si ¿Sí entendemos la, the exceptions. Repeat, please. Okay. Um, the verb or the, the sport golf, el deporte golf. Si yo lo juego por una competición o yo estoy compitiendo con otro grupo, con otras personas, yo tengo que utilizar el verbo play. However, uh, por, otra, por otro lado, si yo voy y lo juego solo porque yo quiero jugarlo un día, se me ocurrió y este día me levanté, today I woke up and I want to play golf y quiero ir a jugar golf, solo porque sí, me dio la gana de jugar golf today. En ese caso, yo ya no voy a utilizar el verbo play. I will have to use the verb go. Vamos a utilizar el verbo go. ¿Por qué? Porque solo lo estoy haciendo por una actividad placer, pleasure, ¿sí? Porque yo me dio la gana de ir a jugar este día go. ¿Sí entendemos? Do we understand? Una consulta. Eh, yes. Aunque sería eh, individual o en grupo. En grupo sí es play, ¿verdad? No, 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 es a I mí, mean, si yo voy a jugar por placer un día X, aunque sea en grupo, que vaya con toda mi familia, yo ah, estoy okay. yendo a jugar, pero no estoy compitiendo, o sea, cuando Correcto. me refiero a competencia, me refiero a competencia de donde yo gano medallas, yo puedo estar tipo, compitiendo con mi familia, tipo torneo, exacto, tipo torneo, pero si yo voy y compito con mi familia y jugando en forma de broma, o oh, vos ganaste, entonces siempre lo estoy haciendo por placer, ¿sí? O por ganas de ir a jugar. That's the difference. Esa es la diferencia. Thank you. Ok. Any other question? Or are we clear? Si ¿Sí estamos claros con las excepciones. Well, I hope we are. So we are going to move on. So we have the vocabulary here. We have, so what we are going to do, lo que vamos a hacer es the, I will repeat. Voy a repetir la palabra y usted la repite ahí. So, football, volleyball, basketball, soccer, handball, kickboxing, martial arts, ping pong. So let me see. Uh, Monica Lue, make the pronunciation of these ones, please. Mm. I am not listening to you, Monica. It's, it's like cutting mm -hmm. off. Está cortando, so I didn't listen to you. Yeah. Uh, Kickboxing. Re repeat it again. What's the name again? Okay. Um. Humble and. Yeah, I mean yeah, no. I mean, repeat them all. Repeat them all. Repeat them all. Okay. Humble, kickboxing, mm. um, martial arts. Martial art, ping pong. Ping pong. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's move on to the next one. And here we have boxing, cricket, equestrian, and fencing. Rina Margarita, can you please make the pronunciation of all of them? Boxing, cricket, mm -hmm. e equestrian, equestrian, e fencing. Fencing, thank you very much. Now let's move on to another one. And we have gymnastics, 
badminton, tennis, and high jump. Uh, let me see. Sophia, can you help me, please? Gymnastic, uh, badminton, tennis, and him jump. High jump. Um, high jump. Thank you very much. Now we have wrestling, sumo, cycling, car racing. Jostling with the with the J. Help me, please. Jostling with the J. Wrestling, sumo, cycling, car racing. Thank you very much. Now let's move on to the next part, which is heartless, javelin, long jump, and running. Vanessa Gabriela, please make the pronunciation of them. Heartless, javelin, long jump, running. Running. This one, we have water polo, water skiing, speed skating, in archery, archery. Griselda, can you please go ahead? Griselda, are you there? Water polo, water, water polo, mm -hmm. water skiing, mm -hmm. speed skating. Mm -hmm. Ar archery. Archery. We don't say archery. We say ar archery. Archery. Okay. Thank you very much. Now we have crew, diving, surfing, and swimming. Let me see, Jose Alberto. Can you help me with that? Crew. Crew. Diving. Crew. Crew. Mm -hmm. Crew, diving, surfing, swimming. Swimming, thank you very much. Oh. And we have bobsled, ice hockey, ice skating, ski. Now let me listen to you, uh, Rina Margarita. Bolsier? Mama mm -hmm. también dijo de la mejor. Ice, eh, hockey. Mm -hmm. Ice skating. 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 Mm -hmm. Y ski. Ski. De nuevo, recordémonos que cuando te la palabra con S, no decimos la E al inicio, solo el sonidito. Please, keep that in mind. And. Do we have questions? Tenemos preguntas hasta el momento. Questions so far? No? Clear. Clear. Okay. So here we have a practice. Esta es una práctica que vamos a hacer. And let me see. Uh, take a screenshot of that. So we're going to go to the breakout rooms. It's really easy, really fast. What you have to do, lo único que tenemos que hacer aquí es decidir. Entre el verbo play, go, or do. Okay? So we have here, aquí tenemos los deportes. So you will just have to put play, go, or do. So did you take the screenshot already? Well, we'll take that as a yes. Vamos a tomar eso como un sí. And we are going to go to the breakout rooms. So we're going to have, let me see. Let's go. Join your rooms, please. Try to speak English if you can.
What happened with you guys? Are you having problems trying to connect with your group? Or what is going on? Jocelyn? Teacher, I cannot participate in this moment. Okay, perfect. What about Jocelyn with the J? Well, looks like she's not there. Y no lo puede agrandar más que yo no veo. Y a mí no me, no me aparece. ¿Y ahorita? ¿Desaparece, no? Ajá, sí, sí. Hola, 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 hola. Disculpen, me atrasé. <ríe> ok, entonces sería la... ¿Dos? ¿Cómo sería play? El, la primera. My sister likes... Like. To play, play ball, ball. ¿Y por qué se usa bola o algo por el estilo? Ajá, y creo que es en grupo. No sé. Exacto. Ajá, sí, sí. Es play la primera. La segunda. Yo... La cinco dice... The... The Arker sería... Actually, at the club, sería go. Porque él va. Ajá, porque está hablando de, de ir. De ir. Ajá, de ir. Go. No, go. 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 Number 10. I like to go bowling with my friends on Saturday. We practice a lot of, of sport in our family. Like to. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay, guys, did you complete the exercises? I mean, the exercise, or, or all of them were completed? Or you, you didn't complete them all? Did you complete the exercises? Not the chair. No, not all of them? Yes. Yes, you did. Okay, yes, I, I saw some groups and some groups I saw that they complete them, but some others probably didn't. So we are just going to wait for your classmates to join the call because I can still see that some of you are still on the breakout room. So we're just going to wait for them. Okay, there, there they are. So I will need... Well, no, I'm going to ask you. Let me see, Carla, on number one, which one do you think is the answer for one? My sister likes to eat like to play volleyball after school. Play. So we say that on number one, the verb that we use is the verb play. Why? Because in ball, we are using a ball. So what about number two, Sophia? Um, do. Do, why? I don't know. <laughs> what about you, Monica? In number two. Uh, Thomas usually go. Go. go horse, horse riding on Saturday. Morning. Yeah, in that case, we use go because this person goes on Saturday mornings. So thank you very much, Monica. That was a good one. Number three, Jose Alberto, what do you think? It's the answer number three. Is he not there? Jose Alberto, are you there? Well, Saul then. Saul, number three. My cousin like to play boxing to keep fit. To play boxing. Are you sure? Play boxing. Recuerdo que era la excepción. Ajá. Y que excepción. Yo usaría play. Play, are you sure? ¿Todos están de acuerdo con lo que Saúl está diciendo? Ojalá que sí. Al... No decía que era el, el do. Do. We use do vale. because the exception says that with that verb we have or with that sport we have to use do. So we use and we say my cousin likes to do boxing to keep fit. Thank you very much. So, Sulma, uh, can you help me with number four? Okay. It is fun to, to play ping pong. It is all fun table tennis. Yes, and that one we have play because ping pong, we use a small ball. Necesitamos una pequeña bola. So, Rina, what about number five? Go, do, but do actually on the county club. Do. So, entonces, utilizamos el verbo do in archery. Sería go porque está ahí. El go es. Go, yes. We don't use do. No utilizamos do. That's go. Ok. Eh, una más. Es lo único que vamos a hacer. And José Alberto, can you help me with number six? Number six. Um, Marie loves to do. I use skating, skating with her friends. Do. ¿Por qué utilizar do ahí? Porque está divirtiéndose con sus amigos. 
una actividad uh -huh. eh, recreativa. Recuerdo. Actividad recreativa. No está compitiendo. She's not competing, ok. Pero si el, el, el deporte termina en ING. Go. Go. So we have to say, Mary loves to go ice skiing with her friends, ok? So that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you so much for attending to the class. Remember, recuérdense trabajar en la plataforma. Mañana tenemos calibración. Aquellos que no hayan terminado, se les va a mandar un mensaje para recordarles. We have till tomorrow. So you have to work on section number four. You're supposed to finish section number four by tomorrow. Okay. So that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you very much for attending to the class. And see you guys on Monday. Nos vemos el lunes, okay? Have a good night. Good night. Okay, bye-bye.